Hi, so today I'm going to present Cytoscape, a network visualization software which is going to be useful for building protein-protein interaction networks or gene networks. So Cytoscape is an open source software platform for visualizing molecular interaction networks and biological pathways and integrating these networks with annotation, gene expression profiles and other uh, state data. You can download this uh, app you can, it works on Windows and Mac, and you can download in the link that I left in the description. I will not show you how to install it on a computer because it's very straightforward. Building protein-protein networks or gene networks uh, is a, no, always not so straightforward in Cytoscape. So I show you here how to do it in three simple, simple steps. The first step is to build an Excel file with information about your genes or proteins that you want to build. Load it onto Cytoscape and style your network. So the first step is to build an Excel file with your protein information. So if you notice here, I have a gene name source, a gene name target, and source and target is nomenclature that Cytoscape uses when referring to their nodes, even though if it's a simple interaction or um, if it's gene uh, information between genes. Then you have interaction information, uh, and this, this is why in the next, this is why I advise you to not create a table, but instead to just use the normal columns in the Excel, because then you can have uh, the same attributes for each source or node or target. This will facilitate when you are loading your table into Cytoscape. So having two locus IDs, cellular compartment, molecular function, and the colors. I color coded them in the same color code that uh, Cytoscape uses when you're asking to attribute the information and correlate with your table with your Cytoscape. Um, and uh, you will see why this is important to color code it like this, so it's easier for you to understand which column is being attributed to what. So to create your network from the table file that we created previously, you need to go to File and then select import and then select network from file and then you select the excel file that you created previously okay so once you select your excel file this is what should appear to you uh, import network from table so as you can see here uh, the colors actually mean something and purple is usually used for interaction green for source node and uh, orange for a target node so here, the gene name source, since it has different names, it didn't recognize it as a source and target, but we are uh, going to select this as a source node, this as a target node, and uh, it's always best to have the gene names as the source and target name, because no one can identify uh, a gene by their locus ID, so it's not a useful information. Um, but it use, it's useful to have it as an attribute of the source and the target's node, so you can search for them. So if you have the same columns named the same, the program will recognize the first always as source node, uh, source node attributes and the second one as target attributes. And the interaction, since I use the name interaction, it recognizes it already as interaction type, but you can name it whatever you want, like PPI, whatever. So here uh, it's just a simple example, so interaction here I mean protein-protein interaction, and here it, I mean that uh, a protein is able to phosphorylate other proteins, so then I can also help you to stylize if uh, interaction is, for example, directed, like B phosphorylates C, but it do C does not phosphorylate B, then there's an, a direct interaction, a directed interaction, not a direct interaction. Um, so... And so here, cellular compartment, it's always, it's also recognized um, directly. But here, since I didn't use the same name twice, it uh, didn't attribute them to the proper place because I used a small f and a bigger and a capitalized uh, f for the molecular function. So here I have to correct source node attributes, target node attributes. So this is always important to do before you start your gene. Uh, or protein network is to check if everything is attributed to the proper places. The advanced options are not very useful uh, in this case because it's just this, it's default interaction, use the first name as column names if this 
uh, if you are doing your Excel file in the most simple form, it should always recognize it as such. So here I click OK and it uploads our very, very simple network. So I should also explain that what uh, the nomenclature of cytoscape means by nodes is that it's the graphical representation of protein or genes. So this is a node, this is a node, this is a node, and so on. The edge, however, is what connects nodes, like the interaction type is uh, it's what edges are. And uh, I'm here selecting it now in red. This is an edge, this is a node in yellow. Okay, so important considerations. Since they are all look the same, it, you cannot draw much information uh, from this network other than this is how these proteins interact. Uh, so you should stylize your networks for, in order to give them information. And you have some already, uh, some already styles that you can use. That uh, some are very impressive and they look really cute. But uh, you should really work on them from the bottom up. So here is the how you stylize your nodes. I'm gonna put all of the properties, and uh, you can also have uh, like this is the default value. If you don't def define anything, uh, this is this is what it show up. It will be black, and then you can have by Basil, for example. If it's something that's not default value uh, happens, you can make it. Um, you can change it. So if you change, sorry. If, for example, the cellular compartment is nuclear, the, the default value will be red, for example. If it's membrane, I will put it in green. And if I don't say anything, it will make it black. For instance, this is just an example. So this is what's called bypass and discrete mapping what it means with discrete mapping is that it will give a color for each of the things that you describe. If you want to have, like for example, um, gene expression numbers, which I didn't put here, expression values, uh, you can do path through, through mapping, and it can give a color uh, for each, for like minus one will start in blue, my, oh, plus one will start it will be red and then every every number in between will have uh, one of these colors and this is just an example if you want me to elaborate more on this please let me know in the comments and I will make a video about how to represent gene expression using cytoscape but so you can uh, alter a lot of things like you can make it bigger you can make anything uh, different like uh, you can put them in red color. You can change pretty much everything. Label font size, you can make it bigger. You can make everything bigger. But so, the edge type, for example, um, you can have line types that are different. You can have, for example, uh, the line types. Since some of the interactions are directed, I'm going to choose mapping type and I want to change the phosphorylation into, sorry, this is not, I didn't mean the line type, I meant, I meant the source type. Interaction, discrete, and I'm putting this as a delta. So now I know that uh, from C phosphorylates B, B phosphorylates F, and the others are normal interactions that happened. And this is just an example of how you can um, interfere with your, uh, with your genes. Oh, you can also change the shape, obviously, uh, from rectangles or to diamonds. It's really not uh, that big of a deal to change them as you wish. Um, and uh, in uh, here, you should also have the edge table, like A interacts with B, B phosphorylates C, blah, blah, blah. And uh, you can have how it happens. And you have here the network table. So this is how you can uh, generate a simple protein-protein network. 
um, then you can export this for example for image like as a simple PNG or you can export it to also to an HTML which which with a web page with a full application which I don't think is working well properly yet and um, you can also export it to NetX but uh, and obviously to file to like save it as a C file or a cytoscape file that you can work on later so 